Hello, it's George Lees. This is Don't Cry For Me Argentina Madonna. A little snippet, it keeps buffering because they're very embarrassed. Yeah. Okay, that's all I'm going to play of that music. That is the wonderful music that was sung by Madonna, who's a chichu, yeah, and is related to Bacatelli from my hometown, uh, and is related also to Fortune of my hometown. <laughs> yeah, and this is the joke about fascism in Argentina, but it is an even bigger joke about fascism involving Jimmy Nail of Newcastle. Yeah, his real name, let me show you the Google images now. I've often wondered why that picture there depicting Evita, played by Madonna, Chichio, yeah, is now being replaced uh, by that video I just played you. And there's a beautiful body double like the actress who has replaced her in those newer movies, yeah and all of it, when you look for Madonna singing it, it's very seldom now that person in that movie. Yeah, and so I'm going to now show you a series of images as I do in most of my videos to explain why I was delighted to meet Jimmy Nail's son. His real name is Bradford and that is the Bradfords of the Mayflower. Yeah, his middle name is a giveaway and I want to show you that on on the on the uh, so there's what I've done today okay these names are all related to the world owning bloodlines and Clovis and Lewis that we've told you about of Bourbon uh, and the links to Ireland uh, and all the Lagos the rabbit jokes become Archie Louse Piso and that is Laos in Ireland, near Innisfallen Island, and I've been there, I've fished, I've toured with my son and my ex-wife, uh, and now it all makes perfect sense, because this is, uh, the, the places that are owned in Ireland, they are owned by the Perones, yeah, and that is also an anatomical term, because the perineal nerve is in the shin, yeah, <laughs> it's quite spooky that my son broke his leg, that was the son that was on this tour and his shin was damaged. Yeah, they're very innocent people and I'm delighted with the way that they are growing up. Yeah, and here is cultural depictions of Eva Perron. Okay, so what I want to show you is how Jimmy Neal comes into the story. So we'll have to go back. So do you get it? That's Clovis, that is Laos, yeah, Archie Laos Piso. Yeah, and all the sectarian religious divide all over Ireland. <laughs> yeah, with the Queen's headquarters being at the same place as the massacre happened in the football stadium. That is Hillsborough for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, so do you get it? Yeah, Clovis is Louis, and in the stories about uh, in the stories about Jimmy Nail. Let's find his web page. Uh, so I've hit that Evita tab because that is the series of disclosures. And those jo jokes in Southern Ireland also uh, consume the places where George Osborne's family have their massive uh, estates and that is also the places where uh, Mami, who's the professor at Robert Gordon's university, his name is Germanic and it's double barreled but his massive estates are in uh, the Irish place. Uh, his name is, oh, I can't remember, he's the most popular vice chancellor in the whole country because he runs the blog spot himself loads of time on his hands since the war was over okay this is Jimmy Neal and the Bradford stuff let me just show you the thing that stunned me and absolutely silenced me Neil was born 
James, oh sorry, we should show you a picture of him first, but let's get this in. N Neil was born, James Michael Alloy Sears, yeah, Bradford. That is the same joke that we're telling you about, uh, <laughs> yeah, the delousing campaigns in all the Schindler's List movies, yeah, in the showers for the Judengas, which is the name of the street that the fascists live in. Yeah, and on and on and on it goes. Uh, born to Father Jimmy and Mother Laura. Yeah, <laughs> the Lorelei of Germania. And all of it is the same joke as Pope Benedict's naming, as Hitler's naming, uh, and all of the people that I'm about to tell you that were in that Banderas movie. A Banderas is, yeah, in Latin America, the banderases that uh, are the people that stand in the crowd and gaze up at Madonna, playing Peron, as if she were a goddess. Yeah, they are actually the slaving conquistadors from Portugal and Spain that killed every pagan in Latin America. Yeah, and then launched all the bandits that are in the bloodlines for the Peron tree, and that is why. The Argentinian scandal is such a scandal that takes in families in Britain. That is the Vestes. They were the butchers uh, in Argentina, uh, and they are still the masters of the horse for a royal highness. Thank you to the people from Hertfordshire who lived in Arundel for telling me that they understand all of that now. <laughs> okay, so do you get it? That is. Uh, my girlfriend from uh, America uh, joking about the naming of aluminium yeah, and it being so important in world history the picking of the Pope Benedict the Nazi Hitler youth Pope that had to resign because he was exposed by me for publishing with George W. Bush's son the new rules for interreligious studies involving the rewriting of the Quran, the rewriting of the Christian Bible, and the rewriting of the Jewish Talmud. Isn't it lovely? All oh, the loving families. So first I'll show you my pictures. Okay, so there is Evita, the beautiful Madonna, petite little person that made the WEE movie, uh, and the person that played her uh, is pictured in yesterday's video thumbnail but I didn't have the wits to show you that <laughs> okay uh, and she is from the town of Newcastle and all of it is a massive pistic this is where the ordinary working men reside yeah but all of them are from these elite bloodlines so there is Antonio Banderas the man that looks up at her yeah and all the singers now have the equivalent of that in their videos uh, in the beautiful songs that are made by uh, uh, I can't remember what her name is uh, but she has people uh, loads of the actors that is the actor that played the role in the lethal uh, uh, the uh, not the Warner Brothers the uh, Grimm Brothers movie yeah that is what killed Heath Ledger the man who was the French Napoleonic presence all across Germania yeah in making the Germans look innocent was played by the same actor that is the general that becomes Perron's wife and the role that Jimmy Nail plays is trivial he is a character called yeah wait for it the buffoonish leadership, same joke as Donald, same joke as the Roman Empire led by Augusta. Yeah, his name is Augusta in the movie. Yeah, that's Jimmy Aloysius. Yeah, that is the A. Louis Bourbon dynasty. And it is all the world's leadership team through all of the great conflicts and all of world history. There he is. Yeah, playing the man that is, uh, that is uh, the fascist and the first male yeah, with his uh, fish <laughs> to help Evita, Evita 
climb the ladder to greatness yeah and all of it is the picking of all of those actresses I don't know remember what the name of the beautiful uh, body double is in Kelso uh, our daughter's Sophie and she is oh, I can't remember it's immaterial uh, so do you get it an ordinary working family out of Geordie land naming their son yeah Bradford was on the Mayflower and I'll show you all those pictures now <laughs> okay uh, so there he is with his fascist bow tie there is the Bradford Mayflower uh, and Bradford is where uh, the hopeless George Galloway was appointed and that is where uh, because I went there for interviews and I create havoc in all the interviews because I tell the truth everywhere that was where Imran Khan married to the goldsmiths was the vice chancellor lovely uh, family stories aren't they the Mayflower pilgrims behind the myth there is a picture of William Bradford in the Plymouth Pi Pi PL Plymouth colony yeah it looks like an eye and so they get away with the eye eye jokes again yeah do you get it he's got the Phrygian hat on that is the top hat derivatized into that massive steeple hat that all of the world's bankers then wear there they are on the boat <laughs> okay next image is Billy Bradford, Pilgrim Fathers, more on the history of that, okay? Uh, none of them identify him or his role on the boat, but I've got some images on the OneNote tab about that. Okay, Alloys, yeah, that's the name of his, his nibs, Jimmy Neal, let's have a look at it again, is <laughs> James Michael Aloysius, yeah. A. Louis, yeah, for the Bourbons, all through that world owning family bloodline. And my mates are watching closely again. It's been quite grey, yeah, because I'm having to leave again and I'm having to find a new place to make videos. Thank you to all of the people who are now interacting with me through YouTube because they cannot get me on Facebook that is the Zuckerberg man who's also in the bloodlines close to uh, uh, the world's richest man in inverted commas who is Bill Gates who allowed us to invent these computers which eventually are going to free the world even although the working men are working for the fascists <laughs> his father was an Irish Catholic shipyard worker yeah Aloysius yeah and my first American girlfriend as you'll see she argued with me that aluminium was not pronounced aluminium it was aluminum yeah and all of it is the same jokes and she made a huge fuss about that her name is Schneider that is the German manu uh, weapons manufacturing industry and that is the links to Schneider and Jolie on the massive almanacs of Europe's royalty. Angelina Jolie, the daughter of the man who was uh, John Vogt and all the Odessa laundering files. Yeah, and this is the same. The film that we're talking about here featuring Madonna was made by Lloyd Global Webber. Do you get it? Decrepit now, near death since I exposed him as the Joker who buried Mozart in that massive movie that I took Nadine Schneider to watch <laughs> yeah so she insists on uh, aluminum yeah and all the ally jokes it comes out for only the world leading bloodlines who are fascists through and through and I met Jimmy Neal's son uh, in the pub the other night in Witherspoons the working man's pub and he shook my hand warmly a very genial looking guy and I believe they will be a good family especially when they're under the limelight and they've got this history to explain you cannot be responsible 
for the naming of your eh, Christian <laughs> christening name can you yeah but he was given this name because he's in the bloodlines and they know that he's got a role which is part of the Star Wars team yeah and on and on the whole fucking shenanigan rolls <laughs> okay next is Fort William aluminium factory because that is where I took Nadine Schneider uh, and she was really lit up that we were able to debate that pronunciation issue for several weeks <laughs> yeah and I believe that the real uh, place that we went to is is I thought it was Inverness where which is a massive part of the division and the canalization of what I believe is now the Caledonian Canal is a series of can canalized uh, canals all the way across Scotland and it is the joke about the massive places that get the biggest earthquakes in Scottish history because that is what the gods do in return for their native river systems being disrupted by man yeah it's the same in the fugitive movie it's the same in all the jokes about tag my dog and the massive dams that have been built so that the gods no longer can make bountiful harvests or punish people with biblical floods but they're doing quite well with that in my region still Miss Valerie Jane Lees every time you take me to court <laughs> okay uh, next picture is alloy yeah and it's the racing cars for Formula One it's the TARDIS and the windmill blades and the TARDIS joke is Taranis Taranis the god who is a Dutch god married to the goddess Annihila that's annihilation in every one of the great conflicts and those signs are the four limbs on Hitler's swastika yeah that's Alois Hitler and his parentage from the Rothschild family the Hertfordshire people did not know that story last night they do now there he is Alois Hitler showing results for Alois Alois do you get it yeah that is uh, Archilaus Piso that is the A. Louis dynasty from St. Louis that was a Christian saint sainted in around 1200 AD. Are you getting the picture? French terrorists. Yeah, that is all the people that can become the kings. They become the kings in Bourbon, and that is the relatives of Alistair Brooks, who ran the Ednam House Hotel in Kelso. Yeah, and who told me himself that he was descended from the Bourbon dynasty. Yeah, he's an A. Lewis contender like Jimmy fucking Nail and his real name is not Nail because he was christened Bradford and he fell on a glass and I've seen people dropping glasses for the last 10 days since I went to the glass factory at Sunderland yeah and the naming of all the St Peter's frauds all the way across the world okay next image is of Pope Benedict in the Alois bloodline his parents use the word Alois in their middle name yeah like Donald uses the word that's Donald Drumft the little drummer boy yeah with Bing Crosby and uh, the man who was uh, the Bowie tribes man who is David Bowie all of them are in the same Austrian Innsbruck that's the Brooks name at Edenham House. Yeah, that's the Brooks name who's ha married to Hannah Mary Rothschild in the richest family in the world, which is undeclared because they're st still able to cover that up. Yeah, and use uh, the uh, people that are the Dukes of Westminster who are also sharing jokes like this. That's why he ran the, the uh, British Legion and the Poppy Fund and all of it is ruthless for cash 
so God took him down at the age of 62 ok Jimmy Nail of Vidor's End Pet yeah ordinary working uh, yeah boy that goes to Germany where the war was fought they laugh at the sinking of the Bismarck they laugh at the sinking of the Scharnhorst and the horse is the icon for the farmways that they are defending here yet yeah, when you find him on this website let me show you that now yet yeah, do you get the picture they go to Germany to make bricks because the governor that built the wall along there from Rome was a brick manufacturer from Germania in the Holy Roman Empire yet the Christian Empire that was launched to commemorate the celebration of Saul the Sun God's day of worship on the 25th of December yeah huge belly laughs for them until I'm born in 1957 <laughs> yeah and all of it now is a cover for all of my stories there he is leaning on the gates of the poison garden they're having a celebration there and when you look at his facial structure yeah and his nose he is likely to be eh, a bastard of the Percy bloodlines that is the Pierce bloodlines that is the Bush bloodlines that is the Poppea of Rome bloodline <laughs> yeah don't cry for me Argentina there is the Percy bloodline yeah he's a lot slimmer there's the murdered brother who overdosed allegedly on M N D N E, yeah the year before they launched the poison garden of Anik and they're having another fundraiser there and I worked for him for 32 pounds a day he gave me the biggest percentage pay rise I've ever had in my career he raised our daily salary in notes so they don't have to pay any tax uh, <laughs> yeah so he raised it from 30 quid to 32 pounds in one step and they could have shot me dead right in front of those guns especially the Italian ones yeah who sent me to sit in a van full of dog shit yeah because they know that I'm gonna come at them and bring their empire down okay yeah but there and yeah it's the biggest secret yeah that is Henry Percy the legitimate elder son yeah and the legitimate duke killed with the MDNA overdose the same year Madonna releases the MDNA album and she's in the story all the way through because she was the uh, director for the WE film that was shot on their estate featuring the woman that was Risborough who's related also the Risboroughs to Ed Balls and his missus <laughs> yeah and that looks like the castle in Newcastle that the whole of this town is named after it's on the wall and do you get the solstice joke that is uh, Solway Firth where the wall ends and that is the end of the sun god being worshipped and the replacement by Jesus who never ever lived and there's the Anik castle that is the launch of the Watson Armstrongs and all the covers for all of the ancestry of the richest people in this region it's as simple as the nose on your face and their nose is quite pointy <laughs> yeah and there are loads of their children in the pubs dancing in a manic way yeah because then and there's Lady Jane who launches Cliff Richard into the news every time she's mentioned <laughs> okay next is oh sorry I did not hit it hard enough George Herbert Walker Bush yeah Johnny Walker Whiskey yeah you take the high road I'll take the low road they cannot stoop lower yeah he is the head of the CIA yeah his son was the head of the CIA his son's son was the head of the committee for interreligious studies that rewrote those three massive for-profit organizations that are Judaism that are Islam 
that are the Christian Bible, all at the same time under the thrall of Pope Benedict with Alois as his middle name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether or not the Germans were on the Mayflower. Yeah, they were busy at the same time conducting the Thirty Years' Holy Wars and launching the Murrays, the Moravians, who are also the parents of Bush, into Poland and the last remnants of paganism that was Kivan Rusz in Poland where Kaiser Wilhelm in the bloodline had his hunting lodge yet yeah, before the Warners went to America they lived in Krasnose Elk where the hunting lodge was and then they became the news magnets for Fox News and they wrote the hunting lodge and the whole of Poland's corrupted and suppressed history because that is Kaiser Bill of La Rose School in Switzerland and their, their children went to the St Albans School in uh, Washington with the people that I'm going to show you that died because of Acts of God that's Robin Williams again yeah died of restless leg syndrome with a Schneider in his bed <laughs> all of it is to obfuscate my life story yeah and all of the Indiana films are just the same there is George Herbert Walker Bush this time yeah, with the Walker jokes that are in the presidential bloodlines and Barbara Pierce that is Barbara Percy of the Annick Castle after the Vazis left that's the Vazis in the Braveheart movie and we've told you that and it's Ed Vasey in Westminster isn't it loving loving their neighbour globally the last places to be loved were Ila Iraq, Lebanon, Libya, Kurdistan, Afghanistan. Yeah, not necessarily in that New World Order. Yeah, it's a massive set of repeating jokes that we are the world owning families and we will rob you blind until someone starts to contest it. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go, George Herbert Poppy Bush and the Arlington War Dead ceremony with the poppies. They dare not do that now. Yeah, his middle name is Herbert Poppy Bush. That's the Robertian uh, bloodlines that are in the Stammering King joke. Uh, and there is Barbara Pierce pushing him around in the wheelchair after he's become unfit and decrepit. It's happening to all of them. Yeah. When the papacy was launched with Pope uh, Francis, he had a massive limp and a couple of sticks for several weeks after the lightning storms had calmed down over the Vatican. Only been there since the late 19th century. The earlier one was the Clooney Abbey, yeah, and that is George Clooney's jokes, and all the Clooneyac missionaries all over the world. Yeah, and their spaniels are not Springer spaniels like the Mayflower. They are cocker spaniels for all the actors like clunes that is in the uh, men behaving badly. Yeah, they're not behaving badly. They've done it all through world history. They are behaving in a genocidal and totally corrupted way. Yeah, not just badly. Yeah, they run every democracy as a massive mafia operation, and every one of those democracies has been robbed of its output from every central bank yeah, every gold mine that is launched by Cecil Rhodes and his family yeah, that's the naming of Rhodesia and all the massive bloodlines yeah, all of them are in this pie organisation let me show you that now so Jimmy Neal oh, oh no, let's get to the end of the pictures and we can get on with some of the more sensational news and confirmation that Jimmy Neal's life there's Schneider in the Indiana Jones movie she's a Nazi like Hitler Rothschild is portrayed as a hero yeah and that is the cover for the naming of my girlfriend yeah who went to Europe with me yeah we spent lovely times in Paris yeah we went to Fort William we saw the he places where she was able to give me lectures on the pronunciation 
of aluminium okay uh, and that is uh, this, not the Schneider who was married to Robin Williams when Robin Williams got restless leg syndrome thanks to the man who used to live in Gala who's now pretending that he's a Geordie and he's got Tourette syndrome he's lovely I met him in the pub two nights in a row so she's Schneider that's Robin Williams he because he made the Awakenings film about dopaminergic deficits in medicine got dopaminergic medicine deficits and that was his restless legs <laughs> yeah that's the shin joke for Ireland yeah and that is the shin joke uh, for Ali G and all the jokes about the kosher parts of the pig the pie pie pig that you're allowed to live uh, allowed to eat if you're in these families and you make profits from the kosher butchery <laughs> okay do you get it all of it is to cover my innocent life right last one is restless leg syndrome just to show you that I'm not bullshitting you yeah restless leg syndrome when you go to bed at night you cannot make love to your wife because you're kicking her all over the bed and that's uh, Mrs. Williams yeah who was Miss Schneider all of them just completely disconnected as part of the cover for my innocent life and the fact that they knew I was going to come along and that I was going to be born on that Bolfer's farm where Palestine was partitioned from <laughs> okay that's actually another branch of the Bolfer family right so let me show you some of the other facts okay and let's start here because I've given you the conspiracy theory that Jimmy Nail is something to do with the religious fraud that is the Pai Pai Pilgrim Fathers and here he is on a massive set of Pai interest pages yeah I've told you about that in recent days I dare not join it and take case they take my website down but there is UKPaiInterest.com Jimmy Nail yeah, Minder Arthur Daly, Jimmy Neal, uh, uh, Gypsies and Funeral Cars, and there are the other members of the Ovidors Inn. All of those are still alive. All of their colleagues are now dead, except for Barry, who played Winston Churchill in the Stammering King joke. Yeah, there's the connections to Bill Nighy, who lives in the Teviot Valley, right next to my town and underneath the village of Heaton where John Lamont uh, and Paul Wheelhouse are massive cover-ups and in front of about 100 people I asked them the questions and they saw me getting uh, shut up and forcibly gagged uh, by the Jedburgh councillor uh, who is just part of the New World Order army and used to sing with uh, the Kaiser Chiefs <laughs> Yeah, look up the, I oh know, I can't remember the names, but do you get it? This is the man that looks like the Percy. Remember, Percy was in the Roman court way back then. I don't know when the bitch got out of the, <laughs> the bitch got out of the uh, home and sired him. But that is him looking just like the Percy facial structure. And he's on the Pi Pi Piso bloodline because Percy was Perseus the poet in the Roman court when they faked the Bible up <laughs> yeah so look for pie interest and see what you get yeah pea knuckle and all the jokes about my hometown I live in Pinnacle Hill Park yeah Jimmy Neal and Kevin Waitley help out a project in Sierra Leone as part of a challenge for Red Nose Day they live it up all over the globe he lives in London now uh, and he will be a millionaire like everybody else in the cast of those movies yeah that's red nose day for all of the people that we have named as being the profiteers for that many of them are from Chipping Norton uh, and they are the people that launch Vodafone they launch all those business interests and they write the news for Murdoch yeah and that is the people that were at Rupert Murdoch's third wedding that is Geldof and his family and all of the people that are in the world owning bloodline like Mick Jagger the sickest joke of all 
the rolling stone at Jesus' tomb. <laughs> right, what else can I show you? I think we finished the other pictures. Let's just check. Yeah, we have. Okay, I can turn that off. Oh no, I better not turn it off in case I get time to make a set of images that will shock you. <laughs> yeah, I loved yeah, the whole of the Ovidio Zane comedies. I've got box sets for all of them. And all of it, the Bladen races, is because the Leiden people were the Dutch uh, religious fraudsters that first launched the Pilgrim Fathers. So they went from Leiden to Middlesbrough and the Humber Bridge joke for of Wiedersehen is that they take the Humber Bridge to Las Vegas. Yeah, and I, I get bored with repeating the joke about the Grand Canyon being a parody of the Pi Pi Piso Vaginas jokes. Yeah, it's the biggest fanny in world history and that is their relentless yeah, laughs and then when they get the illnesses themselves yeah, several of the cast have died the Cockney one died, the big Bristolian wrestler died uh, and all of it is yet yeah, they do not see it coming because I don't believe that they believe that there is a God huge mistake <laughs> okay, right then so uh, oh, I might be able to show you that I might be able to show you the picture of Mrs. Simpson and the Risboras yeah, in this town. She's a beautiful actress and this is Madonna's uh, movie about Wallace Simpson and the whole of World War uh, II being a within the family, royal family profiteering exercise along with Ian Fleming. <laughs> okay, that's going to take a little bit of time. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, that's the introductory page. Oh, sorry, I've not gone to the, the page that... Maybe I have. Yeah, that's got the world owning bloodlines on it. So, Professor George Lees and the world's biggest religious. Yeah, that's the Villa Papyri story. I'll put on there the... Uh, uh, what was the video was... Oh no, it's gonna waste it's gonna waste too much time. Let's get back to the tabs and show you what they do. So that's Pi Interest. Yeah, and he's got a much bigger cover there, because presumably he is quite close to the working class, because he's not allowed to be a duke or a landed person. Okay? Twenty-three best images, the awesome Bill Nye, that's Bill Nye who sings about uh, the Christmas songs with all the scantily dressed uh, prostitutes in Santa's uniform, yeah, and that is the pie pie, yeah, joke that everything that is Christmas we will laugh at, yeah, uh, and that is the Santa baby songs and all of it, yeah, are the Christian saints like St. Louis who is the joke about aluminium, yeah, and the Bourbons of Versailles and the Brookses and the Innsbruck River where there is no room at the inn for Jesus. <laughs> Sophisticated comedians. And his child was a very well dressed man and a very sober looking man and he shook my hand warmly and explained that they now live in London. Forget what his name is, he's on Wikipedia if you want to see it. There's a second brother, uh, absolute dead ringer for his dad. And I cannot imagine his dad being a world-owning genius, but he may well be. <laughs> okay, so, pictures. Let me show you the pictures of Jimmy Nail and his career. Okay, that's him next to the bricks. Do you get it? For the Roman governor that built the Roman wall, his name was Nepos. Yeah, with the word piso in it. Brickies urgently required in Germania where Nepos was part of the Holy German Roman Emperor Empire. Yeah, went to Mannheim like me. I went there to save lives and invent drugs for epilepsy. Yeah, and for 
Tourette's syndrome. Thank you for the conversations two nights in a row. I've had enough for the moment. <laughs> okay. And that was the whole of my life. Uh, and now that I am the world's most innocent and informed man, I'm not allowed to have a place of residence. Yeah. <laughs> And thank you to the beautiful woman from America, from the Taylor lineage, uh, who gave me a fascinating insight into the world's families and how it could be if we were allowed to have money issued from the central banks and everybody could have a life, yeah, and everybody could tour everybody else's countries and we would not have to make money out of everybody else's countries by accusing them of being terrorists. She was a beautiful woman. Uh, and she's now off to the Swiss Alps. <laughs> right, so uh, it's going to take ages for this to upload, but oh no, here we go. So let's go down. Jimmy Neal, do you get it? A, a glass shard went right through his hand. <laughs> okay, and that's why his nick nickname is Neil, and that's why that's stuck. There's the fascist images of him with the little tash, like Hitler, uh, and uh, there is the other parts of his career. He's a musician. He sings crocodile shoes about fascism, yeah, and the crocodiles in the videos uh, are pulling the stripy zebras, that's the wild ass for Rothschild, yeah, and the wild ass for Lily Allen. Yeah, and it's the stripy pyjamas in the death camps for the whole fucking lot of them. <laughs> yeah, the whole fucking lot of them. Ordinary working fascists. <laughs> Prepared to laugh at those jokes, yet that Ralph finds shares about Helen Hirsch not being, yeah, the lover picked because she's not got a wedding ring by Goth, played by, uh, played by, uh, oh, Goth, uh, Schindler's List, and the actor who played the death camp boss was, uh, Fines, yeah, from Buckinghamshire in the Bloodlines, like the world's third richest man, who is the, uh, uh, who is ancient now and is a dead ringer for uh, Uncle Billy in my favourite movie yeah about building affordable homes <laughs> yeah the youngsters in Britain now do not get a life at all yeah and I've tried to explain that to many of them in the pubs and some of them get really ballistic but others are clearly from the families that we're talking about here yeah and they think yeah, it's a bad decision to go to these universities that are led by the police leaders, the heads of intel, and the people that are in the Russell group. And the Russell group is Taze Russell and the Jehovah's Witnesses mafias. <laughs> and the launch of the Taser for the Piso Polis. And Taze is a place in the uh, Gulf of Aden, which is the Garden of Eden for the Balfers. Uh, and for Sir Alec Douglas Hume who uh, nearly was able to bury me on his estate because with Miss Schneider we had a massive crash into a bus just to let me know that I needed to investigate the Aristobus families that are the richest people in Scotland now yeah and on that bloodline for the Queen and Louis of Alois fame right sorry Let's see what the other things are. So you've seen the pie interest tab now, and you see that that makes him global confirmation that he's in the Piso family lineages that run the world. Okay? Jimmy Neal looks unrecognisable. There he is, looking rough and tumble now. Yeah, because he needs to be a bit sinister looking in case somebody like me confronts him. His son is charming. Yeah, it could be a diplomat in Costa Rica, like the boss's wife at Durham University. 
<laughs> yeah, with the word Pi in our surname. Yeah, that's where all of the volcanoes are now erupting in Costa Rica and where the quakes are recurring. I don't know how the gods work, but I'm a, I'm a great admirer of their work and their capacity to pick the bad people from the good people. Next is pie interest. We've seen it. Let's go to the Mayflower and show you the Bradford evidence in case you think I'm bullshitting you. There is Mayflower passenger list. I thought his name was Brewster yesterday when I made that search. But there is William Bradford, Dorothy Bradford, all the Dorothys along the Yellow Brick Road, all the way from the holy city of LA, Los Angeles, yeah, and <laughs> Santa Cruz, yeah, all of it is the same joke. Santa Cruz is the Santa joke and the Christian crucifix joke all rolled into one massive belly laugh, which is why LA gets more earthquakes than anywhere on the globe. <laughs> yeah, now that the Italians have calmed down a bit. Yeah, they used to get them near Paganonia, but Berlusconi was savvy enough to build a nuclear plant near Paganonia so that the earthquakes that occurred in Aquila could not no longer occur without affecting the remnants of the pagan races that used to worship Saul in the winter solstice on the 25th of December. <laughs> Okay, next is, and more on the Mayflower passengers, Love Brewster, that is the Brewsters of the Edinburgh Rugby Club that Graham, that Graham, the tennis player played for, Graham Brown, yeah, all the connections to all those families that were my best man and then my deserters, yeah, in the night that I got arrested for assault. Yeah, you cannot find a more peace-loving person. I was not able to smack my babies. My wife did that for me. How many people were on the Mayflower? Okay, William Brewster. That's why I focused on that first. But there is the list, and there's Bradford, Isaac and Mary Allerton, children Bartholomew Mary, John and Eleanor Billington, that's BHP Billington, and all the massive queen scams, and guess what Dorothy Bradford's uh, maiden name was Dorothy May Bradford. Theresa May was a von Brazier from the Austrian nobility that packed up its boots and jack boots in 1919 because then they had to go west, young man. Yeah, all of it is the same joke. <laughs> BHP Billington and uh, the massive uh, Rio Tinto are the boards that Donald's on, the boards that the Queen's on, the boards that Lord Kerr of Kinlochar, which uh, I always thought was from Granton on Spey, uh, but no, he's from the Central Belt. He's in that valley where all the earthquakes used to occur. It's called uh, Loch Nagar, are the series of massive locks and dams that come all the way down from Fort William to the treasonous place where the Lennoxes live that is the rock at Dunbarton yeah, and that is all the people that's the Lennoxes of Waterloo eh, and the Dukes and Duchesses of Richmond yeah traitors all and that the movie I made on that theme was made exactly one year eh, it was made exactly one year before the London Terror movie uh, and that was uh, it, that was the y one year before that to the very day they had the Belgian terror attacks all of it for those wealthy families that are Montefiore Rothschild and all of the linkages and their ownership of all of the Bank of England where Theresa May yet nay von Brazier worked for a decade, like Macron, the new boss in France. <laughs> so, uh, and here's another list of passengers. Okay, William and Dorothy May Bradford. Yeah, isn't it subtle? Jimmy Nail will be in those bloodlines 
and they will go back to the Pai Pai Pizu family who were rooting the emperor's daughters and wives yeah, and changing their names to Mariam so that they could look like the mother and the father yeah, and their names could then become the M&M &M sweeties and on and on and on it goes ok, uh, so there's the other passengers, I haven't got time for that and I did not even put up a picture of the Mayflower <laughs> ok, Bradford Marries May, Sunday 11th June 2017 what is that? Uh, ok, sorry, it's a joke from me there is the Mayflower there is the picture that I promised you that one's got the sun god shining down on them so it must be a fake up and that may be an ancestor of President LBJ who took command to the moon in inverted commas <laughs> yeah and that is all the bloodlines totally corrupted through all of world history yeah and every Indian gets it in the neck yeah they get their tits cut off if they're females yeah and all of that is in the soldier blue songs that they love to laugh about yeah and that for the rugby players is the six nation jokes that is the culling of the 500 nations in America yeah our native sons are the white man now and they are the people in the uh, Mark Twain novels that paint the fence twice at uh, white that is the whiteboards joke in the business register for Bill Clinton the massive thief and the launch of the fraudulent uh, global warming scam when global warming El Nino is the baby Jesus that was on the Spanish and Portuguese fleets that did with the Banderases for the whole of Latin Americans pagans and the pygmies is the same joke and the Pi Pi peace pipe is the same joke and all of it is about genocide for world ownership through all of world history and that is the biggest joke of the lot that's the Churchill joke and everybody being yeah, controlled at the masses in every denomination and every great religious conflict they are the launch of the poppy fund for the Duke of Westminster and for Butcher Haig from the Scottish borders <laughs> right so Alois is just let's get this in quickly this is the evidence the alloy, alloys, yeah, and Nadine's demand that I pronounce it aluminum, al aluminum, <laughs> not aluminium, yeah, alois, aluminum, yeah, for the people from the Germanic races that made the weapons for World War One and World War Two, and are in the nobility with the Schneiders and the Jolies and the Jolies have been made baronesses by the German Queen in Britain yeah, in the last couple of years <laughs> ok Pope Benedict Joseph Alois Ratzinger Jewish Virtual Library yeah, his uh, predecessor Pope uh, Pius XII was the Nazi Pope <coughs> with the canaries on his shoulder uh, and he, Ratzinger, was Hitler Youth uh, and he had to resign because they're totally corrupted ok, next one uh, oh no, sorry I've clicked on that, that'll waste a lot of time, don't know how sorry, let's go back so those are the stories at the bottom of Evita and why Jimmy Neal plays Augusta yeah, like Donald is doing that now, the buffoonish, uh, the buffoonish leadership in Rome parodied in the last elections in America. Aluos is, is the game, is the given name. It's a Latinization of the names. Wait for it, Louis of Bourbon, Louis, yeah, Robert Louis Stevenson, Louis Luigi. Okay behind the name, let's keep going down there is Newcastle upon Tyne there is St Aloysius Roman Catholic Junior Mixed School 
<laughs> and the woman from America went to school in Newcastle. Can't remember which one she said. Yeah. Do you see the importance of the pronunciation? Yeah. When you're in that massive volcanic place where all the canals have been created to replace the beautiful rivers and the tines just like that too down here near the estuary okay so uh, I think that's the uh, Alois yeah and that's Saints and Angels Gonzaga official site of Mount Alois's College Mounties Athletics St Alois's Junior School all around the world and it is the joke about false religion and the world owning bloodlines <laughs> okay next is Pope Benedict I think we've done that have we oh no this is just confirmation I showed you an image of it Pope Benedict served as Pope from 2005 until I made him resign in 2013 there is his confirmation that his name is Joseph yeah for a laugh yeah in the Bible Alois, yeah, St. Louis, yeah, the naming of that place where I went to and they had the massive floods, yeah, Ratzinger, Hitler Youth, yeah, in the same bloodlines as the, the Jewish Pope, the first Jewish Pope was Jean Paul Getty, the first, the second, <laughs> yeah, do you get it? On and on and on the elite families go some as clerics, some as actors, some as warlords, some as admirals, some as monarchs, some as the Dukes of Northumberland. On and on and on, right through world history. And there is the Alois Hitler joke before we run out of time. Okay, Hitler and this is actually a web page now it's quite stunning that you can find this all of this out this is the story about uh, my neighbor's name she's lovely and <laughs> refused to sign my petitions because they worked with my wife's company but they're Hutchison's and the Hutchison's are in the presidential bloodlines and Paula Hitler uh, was one of the Irish branch okay Alois Hitler born 7th June 1837 Alois Schickelgruber's only claim to fame was that he's the father of Adolf Hitler. Do you get it? Jimmy Nail. Jimmy Alois Nail. <laughs> Ordinary working, yeah, capitalists and prepared to laugh at the laying of the landmines in Argentina where Miss Perón led it. It's not the only place the Perons lead. They're leaders in Denmark and in Sweden too and they're on those bloodlines way down there and I haven't got time to show you all of that and they're mass murderers in the genocides in Latin America as you'd probably expect already like Pinochet Mrs Thatcher's great hero and that's Mrs Thatcher who took us to war and Rupert Murdoch who when they got to Argentina and sunk the ships put on the front page of his son newspaper for the God Saul on the 25th of December gotcha to all of the dead for that totally engineered war to cover this uh, absolutely sinister history of our great nations in inverted commas just acting teams prepared to kill when required <laughs> yeah Percy with the gun <laughs> okay uh, so, and there is Alois Hitler, Alois Hitler Jr., Alois Hitler father, Alois Hitler Liverpool, Alois Hitler cause of death, Alois Hitler brother, Alois Hitler how did he die, and yeah, and that is the Hitlers of Liverpool, supported Everton, then went to Ireland, uh, and became all written up by Beryl Brainbridge, and nobody contests the fact that he's Alois yeah, and now everybody in the whole of our globe understands what that means. And it is the Lewises of Bourbon, and it is Clovis, yeah, just above Charlemagne, one of the world's biggest Christian killers, yeah, whose first two wives were pagans and were replaced by Christian saints, like St. Louis. Right. 
So, Nazism, Pope Benedict, uh, Alois Hitler, there he is, he's got a Wikipedia page now, isn't he lovely? And it looks a little bit like the freckly woman that I talked to the other night from Lake Constance in Switzerland. Yeah. Germans are ever so logical and are ever so confident in conversation. The young ones the other night were quite yappy. Uh, and they're at Newcastle University. I can't remember what they were studying, but they're philosophers and all of this. Yeah, you have to be really ph philosophical if you're prepared to forgive them. It's got to stop. Okay? Alice, Alois Schickelgruber, all of the children sired by Rothschild and Maria in the Rothschild's uh, Viennese places and hotels uh, she was a ma maid servant to the uh, person who is Salomon Rothschild yeah do you get it Alex Salomon and the cigar tubes and the siring of all the leadership teams all across Europe and all the monarchies all across Europe Miss Sturgeon meaning schnapper yeah and that is Guttel Schnapper in the Rothschild bloodline. Alex Salomon. Yeah, no attempts to find his ancestor, but you can find all the jokes. When the man that makes the movie about salmon, f salmon, Salomon fishing in the Yemen, that is the Ye Ye Yemen, that is the Garden of Eden, or Aden, whichever way you want to laugh at it. Right, I think we could stop there, and that will allow me to upload the video without going over the text limit. Thank you to my friends for proclaiming that we're now getting close to all of the culprits that run the world this way. Yeah, every democracy, every central bank, all of it has been stolen. And there is the Augustine role that Jimmy Nail played, and just show you the evidence for my statements. Okay, Andrew Lloyd Webber and the rices that were covered in yesterday's video. That is the musicals about fascism in Argentina by the daughter of the world's mafia families that is Chichio yeah, and the lover of the Pai Pai Pen people that are the pen actors yeah, and on and on it goes. Depiction of Magaldi's connection to Eva Peron so he played Magaldi, uh, and that is Augustan Magaldi. Yeah, do you get it? That's Augustan, that is Augusta for the golf courses for Donald. Yeah, that is St Andrew's golf course, both sides of the Atlantic. St Andrew is the world's biggest joke, because that is the cross keys for those Clooney abbeys that I told you about. Yeah, that's George Clooney, that is the Clooney man, that is in the behaving badly cast. All of them that are in those bloodlines have cocker spaniels. Not sussed that out yet. Yeah, do you get it? Uh, all of it is the same set of evil families that were in Naples, that were in Frankfurt, that are now in Palm Beach and in every one of the cosmopolitan cities across the globe. Some of them are prepared to speak. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful woman in the Hilton Hotel the other night. She had a beautiful mind too. She could relate to everything I said. Now in the Alps with her friends. Okay, uh, and I think we'll stop there. But there's the Evita movie that we started with. Oh, and we'd better stop because we're getting close to the limit. But let's just stop on the picture of Evita with Madonna, not with the new actresses that have replaced the <laughs> people in my hometown, yeah, who go to the uh, classes that are the karate classes and the judo classes. Yeah, that is the body double. And there's Jonathan Price, is the name of the actor who played the French. Uh, Napoleonic presence in Holy Roman innocent Germany for a laugh yeah and he plays the role of the dictator that eventually uh, Peron the woman gets hung on to and that is Banderas the man that looks up to her yeah enviously and the Banderases are the conquistadors 
that killed every pagan on that continent yeah that's the massive subcontinent that is Latin America and Donald's Mexican rivals he regards them as rivals because they still use the peso currency yeah if you heard of the pie interest <laughs> yeah all of these people will be on pie interest if you look it up on the internet you don't need to look up pie interest you'll find that almost every picture you take of religious characters and all these ancient historic characters in religious history they will be on the pie interest web pages and you're only allowed to see about three quarters or one and a half pages and then the rest of it is censored okay uh, and it's screenplay by Oliver Stone based on Evita by Tim Rice yeah that's Condoleezza and her sister both foreign secretaries in the brutalization of those holy lands and Andrew Lloyd Webber who made the Odessa do they know it's fucking Christmas joke just like Bill Nighy made those songs yeah and he lives near Otterburn yeah and he's got a home near Heaton in the TV Valley okay and he's got the Pizzo horses in his backyard and a tennis court in his yeah and all of it is the same set of families and when I saw him shopping at Christmas with his beautiful Aryan blonde wife they were buying uh, the uh, flowers that are the Rothschild icon that are uh, orchids yeah the five arrow joke that they've all got five uh, I forget what you call the flowers on them yeah and that is what uh, Nathan Mayer Rothschild wore to the Bank of England the day he stole it using the Battle of Waterloo and the false news from there yeah so that ordinary working people like Jimmy Nail could rise to prominence and they can laugh at the whole of what we now have as government and every war even the ones that were engineered by Thatcher and Pinochet who died in their beds with dementia in London yet the dementia is not an accident <laughs> right I'm gonna stop okay that's where we're gonna stop okay and that is the Vita joke for the godfathers of our world do you get it? all of the, the Alois name is crops up through all of world history and Archie Louse Pizzo is in a fish called Wanda for John Cleese and the other fraudsters in religion yeah that's the Monte Cassino genocides at the end of World War II when the American troops were given the machine guns and all of the Italian, French and Russian soldiery were shot down because they could go back home and become a difficulty for the effete world leaders like Donald who dodged the draft in Vietnam. Gonna stop. Okay? Bye bye. Watch of Vida saying and now you've got some genuine insight. Watch the movie made by the BBC about the Pilgrim Fathers, yet yeah, that's the Mayflower movie featuring uh, Anthony Hopkins, yeah, that is Hopkins like the chat show host and the quiz host on the telly with the word piso in it every one of them yeah that is John Prescott with the word piso in it every one of those lines lives on yeah and if they're on pie interest it's just confirmation that they are directly related like Martin McGuinness and McGuinness the actor who played in the uh, movie about Jason and the Argonauts he played Zeus in the heavens yeah and it's just amazing that they take the risk that's why all the Capitan characters and the little Merovingians in Toy Story became puppets and cartoons because loads of them dropped down dead on the stage <laughs> yeah and everybody gets what they deserve in the end Jonathan Price yeah all the jokes about the German teams yeah in that same World Cup period in that same movie about the Grimm brothers yeah that is the resignation of Schweinsteiger that is a Rothschild derivative 
he was the captain of the German team at that time for a while. You now understand the Banderas joke. I forget the name of the woman that sings that song, uh, but the, in almost every opportunity they get the star-struck lover into those videos. Uh, yeah, let's not waste time on that. Thank you for the people reminding me on the correspondence on the videos that the brickmakers that were replaced Napos in Newcastle uh, were part, I've forgotten the name again, <laughs> but they've remi reminded me of it and it's on the thumbnail and the correspondence that is uh, Joanna Lumley, yeah, total buffoon. They are the people that are in the bloodlines that take you into Nepal and all those covers for the American presidents that we talked about in the last two videos. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, don't cry for Argentina, but just don't let it happen again. Yeah, we must work together to stop any of it happening again in any great f con conflict for all of the engineered reasons that Donald's in power for. Bye-bye.